Hey everybody, this is Eric with Shine Detail in Bakersfield, California. We're about to do a maintenance wash on this Escalade, and uh, this is the process. So Welcome to Danny's Detail. <laughs> okay, first things first, get the carpets out, you know, get the trash out, major big stuff. Make sure you pick up the pantuflas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright bro, what's next? So we're going to do this uh, maintenance on this Cadillac. Uh, I usually wash it every week, uh, but my customer has kids, so they get pretty dirty pretty fast. So we're just going to do a quick vacuum. Uh, quick uh, uh, wipe down on the panels mm -hmm. and then exterior wash and then we're good. Is this like a regular customer yeah, or repeat? A regular, yeah, it's a regular, regular customer. Okay. The only difference is his truck. But usually we do his Cadillac and his BMW. Oh, okay. But today he was like, let's do the, the box truck and then we'll do the Cadillac. He switched it from a BMW to a box truck? Yeah, man. He really, he really <laughs> gave us a good one. <laughs> that one. That one took a... It didn't take that long, but it was a lot of work. That so, almost took two lives. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I almost fell. He busted his lip. The workers <laughs> comp coming through. <laughs> yeah, so All right, bro. This one should be easier. We shouldn't get hurt on this one, hopefully. But we sh it should be cake. That's the, that's the hope, right? Yep. <laughs> All, right, All right, let's do it. Do you ask customers to take all their personal belongings out or? So they just no. kind of trust you with it? Yeah, they trust me with it. So the way I gain my customer's trust is if I find anything under the seats, I'll put it in the cup holder. Oh, like, okay. I've had, I have I have customers that I, I find like $100 bills. I've, I've found like rings. I found like diamond earrings. And what I do is I just put them in the cup holder. So, you know, they get in their car and they're like, oh man, I was looking for this. Or I was like, they, they pretty much give me the money that I found. If I find like a hundred bucks, they pay me with that hundred bucks. Yeah. So, they feel like they got a free wash in a sense because they yeah. lost 100 bucks a while back. They weren't so, even looking for it, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's how I built the trust. Like if I find anything, any belongings, I can put them. If they have car seats, I put them in the car seats, um, or I'll organize them in the back seat, something like that. You just want to build your customer's trust because once you have that, they're always going to call you. You're always going to have a return customer. How long should this job take you? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yep. Uh, we're pretty much done with the interior. Like, 15 minutes. So now we're just gonna do the outside uh, door jams, windows, and then uh, we're done with this. We'll take a lunch, and then we'll go to the next appointment. Is there any struggles with this vehicle, or no? There was a lot to vacuum, but um, we got it done. And the panels are pretty clean. I already did a full interior on this before. Okay. Um, it's just he has kids, and I mean, if you have kids, you know they get dirty. My cars are always dirty. I never clean my cars. <laughs> what? And it's because I'm always cleaning someone else's yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> so when I get home, I don't want to clean anybody's car. I just want to go home and just relax. And not even that, because I still have to wash towels and get my van ready for the next day. For the next day? Yep. All right, for sure. seems like you got all this down it's super fast what, what's like your secret or what um to be honest i have a system you know what i mean so like know where to start know what to do first so what i like to do first is blow everything out right blow out everything to the front uh, and then start back to me when, when i have a, a helper that's what i'm doing i'm blowing everything to the front and the helper is going to go ahead and vacuum everything that i'm blowing to the front now after he because it's going to take a while to vacuum after he's done after i'm done blowing and he's vacuuming i'll jump into the panels i'll start getting all the dust off the panels i'll start scrubbing the panels whatever the, the panels need the hard surfaces and then after that then we'll go ahead and put the interior dressing jump on the outside and then we have a same system I mean, I'll do the wheels, he'll rinse every wheel so I can get to them. And then once I already scrub them, then he'll rinse that off. And then he'll go ahead and uh, we'll foam it. And then same thing, it just, it's, we're, we're right behind each other, right behind each other. 
Yeah, it just makes the job a lot easier. How long would this job take you when you barely started? An hour. An hour? An hour. Yeah, because I was barely, you know, you know what? Um, I started detailing um, when I was 20, right? I'm 30 now, so 10 years ago, but I was detailing at a, at a dealership. Um, so when I came to do this, it was a totally different game, right? Um, dealing with customers, you know, uh, making sure that, that we met their expectations. Um, so then, it was a lot of trial and error when I first started. Uh, it did take me about an hour just to do, actually this one would take me about an hour and 30 because it's so big, it's three rows. Uh, and then I just wanted the quality, right? So I would take my time. After a while, I just kind of get in the hang of it. Uh, I, I learned the process, learned the system. And then now it's just cake, 30 minutes, we'll knock this out and it's easy money. What are you finishing with? Uh, this is just a detail spray. Um, okay. It's from, it's from Ultra Care. Uh, ultra car clean. Um, right what, now, right you, now. You just spray like the paint or what? I spray the rag and then if I see that I miss something, it's just because black cars, they're really delicate. Like you see everything, right? You see scratches, yeah. everything on a black car. So I like to do like a quick walk around. If I see something I miss, you know, just making sure I got it. So I like to go around with a detail spray. Cool. <laughs> but I guess you have to have a cool relationship with your workers. You have to have fun sometimes. Yeah. But this guy has too much fun. I'm at the fire. Oh, dang. Yeah. Already just got let go, bro. Cool. You got let go? You know what? I quit. <laughs> so, as you can see, we did it with Daniel's detailing. Um, he was a boss for a minute. So, that was that detailing for the Escalade. Um, if you want to sh shout out Daniel's detailing, you can go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment down below.